Something you'll inevitably use at some point in your movie are titles and various effects. And these are accessed up on the top left of your edit page. You see effects right here. When you click on that, you see various effects. And I'm going to click this so I can also choose what types of effects I want to look at. So for example, let's say I want to do some type of cross dissolve. So I just click it, drag it down, and drop it right there between two clips. And there's your effect, okay? Now something you need to know about all effects is that you customize them with Inspector. So if I click on the effect here, so it's red, and then click on Inspector, I can change certain characteristics of the effect, like how long it is. So I could do that, and you can see it changing on the timeline. I could also just grab these handles, click and grab on the timeline as well. Click on it, hit the delete key. If I were to add an effect and I want it in the center but I accidentally did that, I don't have to redo it, just highlight it and then click here and move it to the center. So every effect is going to have its own unique settings in Inspector. So you can explore these. If you want to search for an effect, let's say you knew the box effect existed but you couldn't remember where it was. Just go up here to the magnifying glass, type in box, there it is. And to clear it and get back to the list, just click the X. Cool. Audio transitions, similar. Now, I never use audio transitions from here. You can just grab it and add it, whatever. But on the timeline itself, you can always just control click on a cut and say add 12 frame, 24 frame, cross dissolve, fade, whatever. And then again, just like the video ones, you can change that like this or click on it and change things up here. And another quick fade is just going to any clip and grabbing these endpoints and pulling them in, right? And that applies to video too. Okay, back on the left, titles. So if you want to add any type of title, if you hover over this, by the way, I forgot to mention that. If you hover over certain effects, it'll demo it for you. So like that one scrolls, so like that, you get it, okay? So I could drag any one of these down, position it above a clip, and then click the title itself. And then again, under inspector, I can change the title. So I want it to say something else. And then I can go to settings and, ch oh, actually back in title, I can change the font type, the size, color, all that stuff. Settings. I can also, you know, change the size of an image. It, obviously, if I was doing this effect, I would just change the size probably with the font itself. But you can zoom, you can change the position and all that stuff. Now, something to know about effects. Let's say, let's say I did change this title and I dropped in another title and it, you know, it's at its default and I wanted the same settings. Well, instead of trying to remember them all and plug them in manually, with this title selected, and this applies to any clip, if I Command C and then go over here, if I Command V, it pastes the title. That's not what I want to do, so undo that. If I click on this and do Option V, it's going to let me paste just effect information. So I changed the zoom and the position. So I'm gonna click zoom and position and click apply. And now this title, oh, I forgot to do the font size, but you get it. This now has some of those same settings so I don't have to redo that. Let's wipe these out. Let's look at another effect. Let's do, see a generator. We'll come back to generators. Here's some other effects, fusion effects. So for example, fusion effects get more into heavy like composite type stuff. Drone overlay, so I could put that on this, and I'd drag this onto the actual video clip. It's not a, it's not like a title. And there we go. Cool, right? And then again, I can go up here to Inspector and go to Effects and change things with that specific effect. Now I'm just going to hit the trash can here to get rid of that effect. And by the way, you can tell if an effect's on there. Like, let me do another one. There's a night vision one. Here it is. There we go. And you can tell there is an effect on here by these little stars, right? And so let's say I go to Inspector and I go to Effects and I change this a little bit, whatever. Okay, let's just say I dial it in and like I did with the titles, if I want to apply that effect here, instead of remembering my settings, I just Command C then highlight the clip I want it to go to. Don't have to do the playhead. And then do Option V. I'm going to uncheck these because I didn't change all that. And I'm just going to check Fusion Effects and apply. There it is, okay? And then to remove effects like this, go to effects, trash can, and night vision is gone. And now back to generators. What are generators? Generators are just some different things that are common needs for editors. For example, 
we're going to get into this later, but you always typically add this at the front of a reel or a film with a two pop tone, etc. So instead of going out and trying to find this graphic, they just have it built in. Things like that. And it's just like anything, pull it down, add it to any track you want, etc. And then with audio effects, a bunch of fair light effects in here. I'm not going to go through all of this, but there's a bunch of things you can play around with as well. So that's titles and effects in a nutshell. Again, you get there by clicking effects up here and then you edit your effects with Inspector. And of course, there are more visual effects to be had in Fusion, which we can get into later on. Hey, and listen, if you like this training and you're an aspiring filmmaker, check out my online film school, writedirect.co. Write and direct. The goal of my school is to help you sidestep the minefields that claim the dreams of so many other filmmakers. What do I mean by that? Well, look at me. I did the traditional thing. I went to Los Angeles, went to film school, and yeah, I learned a lot, but I spent a lot of money. And if you want to direct movies, when you graduate from film school, there's kind of only one way forward. And what is that? To begin directing movies, but it's on your dime. Your education will not land you a job as a director. So if you spend all your money on your education, you can see you're going to you're in a tough spot. Write and Direct teaches you how to make a movie from beginning to end. We begin in development with story and we go in granular steps all the way through post-production. You learn how to do it all so that you're empowered to pursue your dreams. WriteDirect.co. I hope to see you there. And if not there, I'll see you here on the channel very soon.